Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm pleased to present my paper entitled Nebola Reliable Low Latency Video Transmission for Mobile Cloud Gaming. Uh, I am Ahmed Al Hilal, a PhD candidate in the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. First of all, uh, in mobile cloud gaming, uh, rendering tasks are uploaded to remote uh, gaming servers to uh, to render the frames, which are then returned to the uh, constrained mobile devices through the mobile network. However, mobile cloud gaming faces many challenges. Uh, the first aspect of challenge related to the variable network conditions, where packets drop due to congestion in the core network or due to error in the access network. Besides, bandwidth is limited and it's time varying for individual users, which also shrinks in the presence of congestion. Latency is high and variable, and uh, it changes from provider to another, from manufacturer to another, from mobile device to another, and from network to another, according to the speed test Carter for 2021, which is uh, conducted in US cities. Besides, we did some uh, experiments to uh, characterize uh, our campus Wi-Fi, which is EduRoom, and it turned out that the uh, round trip time network round trip time and available bandwidth are quite variable. Uh, besides, uh, mobile cloud gaming balances a variety of uh, quality of experience objectives, such as maximizing the uh, quality of, uh, of interaction and video quality. Uh, so uh, mobile cloud gaming actually provokes a new technical challenge compared to video streaming, uh, which, is, which involve interactive gaming. And latency is uh, becomes per, uh, perceptible to human when it gets greater than uh, 100 milliseconds. And users also keep pushing for higher uh, for higher uh, video quality, which started to be nowadays full high definition and ultra high definition. There are many solutions that try to adapt to the uh, to the variable bandwidth. Uh, and we choose three representative solutions. The first one is the Google standard. Uh, and the second one is uh, research about video streaming in mobile cloud gaming. And the third one is available uh, video streaming solution. We did some experiments on WebRTC uh, and WebRTC is the Google standard for video streaming and Google Stadia, which is a cloud gaming platform. Uh, we did experiments on WebRTC and when we noticed in high latency jitter conditions, such as the, the one in the audio room, uh, WebRTC drops the video quality quite significantly. Besides, according to some uh, uh, research papers, when the loss rate increased from 0.1 to 1%, uh, WebRTC also drops the bitrate six times. ESCOT is, uh, is a research about video streaming in mobile cloud gaming that uh, applies protection to the entire GOB. And GOB is... Uh, made of iframe and multiple p frame and because of that it incurs high motion to photon latency the third solution is uh, buffer occupancy that adapts the bitrate solely based on uh, playback buffer occupancy and because of uh, the real time video streaming in uh, mobile cloud gaming this will uh, lead to low vid video quality our solution is Nibola, that is joint video and redundancy rate adaptation using, using heuristic model. And that's for interactive gaming and reliable uh, delivery. And in this, we model first uh, distortion and latency, and then we form the optimization problem. And then to solve that, we uh, applied heuristic to adapt FAC and bitrate. We also protect the uh, based on uh, on-frame basis to ensure low, low latency. We uh, developed our custom transmission protocol over UDB for the streaming and reporting and monitor the network conditions at the client. In the liter literature review, we noticed that uh, some research are considering the end-to-end -end vid uh, video distortion to be uh, made of two uh, components. The first one is the encoder where, uh, where distortion happened because of the video compression. And the second is the transmission uh, because of packet loss. However, um, we noticed that in our experiments that 
uh, error propagates within the GOB. Uh, and when the uh, group of picture, when the length is short, the end-to-end uh, -end delay, which is the red line, tend to be uh, smaller. However, when uh, this group of picture becomes bigger or larger, this end-to-end -end delay like, uh, becomes like bigger. And for that, we added like we consider a new uh, a component for distortion, which is decoder uh, distortion, which is uh, related to the packet loss and the uh, and inversely affected by the intra frame rate. Sorry. And we also uh, look at the literature review, and we did not find research that correlate motion to photon latency. And motion to photon is the uh, the time between the user input and the rendering of the corresponding frame. So uh, there is no uh, like model in the literature review that correlate uh, motion to photon latency to the available bandwidth with the sending rate uh, and other parameters. And for that, we conducted quite extensive experiments to collect these variables here. And we applied multivariate regression and we, we get this model and QD is the queuing delay. Uh, with goodness of fit, uh, 90 R2 is equal to 95%. And now we, we get to our optimization problem in which we want to get the uh, video rate and redundancy rate that maxima, uh, minimize the distortion and motion to photon latency given with this equation models that we already uh, computed. Uh, subject to latency constraint where motion to photon latency has to be less than a threshold that make the game playable. Uh, and also throughput constraint where the sending rate has to be less than the upper bound, which is the available bandwidth. And to solve this problem, we applied heuristic in which uh, we joined uh, tuning the uh, redundancy rate and the video rate and based on the packet loss that these uh, parameters are collected from the client. And from the packet loss, we compute the, how much redundancy we can apply so that R, the redundancy plus K is equal to N, which is the number of send packets. And after we compute the um, RR, which is redundancy rate, we choose the, most, uh, the maximum feasible uh, uh, video rate that is, uh, if we sum up with RR, it, it is still less than the uh, available bandwidth multiply one minus the queuing delay. And after computing these uh, rates, we can uh, apply the video compression and then the uh, FEC to protect the frames. Uh, in which after we encode the frame, each frame within the GOB will receive a different weight. And this is an even, uh, an even uh, rate uh, applying redundancy rate. Uh, and with that, we uh, add redundant packets to the original packets. Uh, and in, in case of the, one of these uh, packets are like lost, the receiver can still recover the frame. Some illustration of this uh, adaptability that shows the adaptability of uh, FEC redundancy to packet loss and the adaptability of the sending rate to the uh, available bandwidth, which is the throughput mu here. And also it shows if we apply an even, uh, if we apply an even redundancy to the uh, frames, uh, how much uh, extra, like how much improve the video quality compared to if we apply the even, which does not encounter the does not solve the problem of decoder distortion. By putting all the components together and integrating the uh, joint FEC rate and bit rate ad adapting algorithm into a functional uh, mobile cloud gaming system, we get this end-to-end -end architecture where after the frame is rendered at the server, it's uh, captured, then encoded, uh, video encoded and FEC encoded using the parameters that are just like, um, tuned and then sent to the uh, client where it is decoded and then displayed. Uh, simultaneously, the client will keep collecting the uh, network uh, parameters 
and then periodically uh, report that to the server to do further uh, adaptation. Uh, in our uh, system, we use this, uh, like uh, we use our custom protocol that use four type of packets. The first one to stream the uh, video from, or the frames from the server to the client and to prove the, uh, prove the RTT round trip time and uh, compute the queuing delay and one to uh, and type of packet to send the uh, input from the client to the server and the fourth to send the network parameters from the client to the server. Uh, to evaluate our solution, we choose four uh, baselines. The first one is, uh, is TCB Cubic, uh, and that's actually Cubic is uh, congestion control protocol for TCB. And TCB Cubic is the algorithm that is used in Linux and mobile network by default. Uh, it's a TCB, so it's negative acknowledgement and it's using congestion window. Uh, the second is WebRTC that's using a hybrid negative acknowledgement and uh, FEC protection as loss recovery. And it's using GCC for rate control. The third one is ESCOT that applies protection to the entire GOB and it's based on uh, throughput and latency to control the rate. And the fourth one is buffer occupancy that is using TCB and it's based on buffer occupancy to control the rate. Our solution is Nibola that is a frame based uh, FEC protection and it's, it's a throughput and latency based. And uh, we did something here like that's uh, to make the uh, finding our experiments and finding are reprodu reproducible so that for uh, for WebRTC, we use IORTC open source, and we customize the open uh, open source stream to uh, to match our like to match our um, stream that is like we use in the other baselines, and also we also customize the remote uh, the remote track to be able to measure the uh, video quality and delay and on frame level. Uh, to do the evaluation, we e evaluated our solution uh, uh, using two type of networks. The first one is emulated network to have full control over the uh, uh, over the uh, these variable network uh, variable network conditions. So for that, we used uh, traf uh, traffic control and hierarchical token bucket, which are tools in Linux to. Uh, to introduce this variable uh, bandwidth and to introduce packet loss and uh, delay, link delay, using uh, other tool, which is network emulator. And we did experiments on this uh, over this uh, network and we, uh, we compared these uh, five solutions and we see that uh, buffer occupancy has the minimum motion to photon latency followed by Nebola. However, buffer occupancy has the worst video quality and Nebola is the second best uh, video quality. And we also uh, compare uh, the bandwidth utilization of each of these solution. And the reason why uh, Nebola is the, uh, is the best is that Nebola uses the uh, bandwidth uh, efficiently Whereas, for example, Escort and uh, TCB Cubic, they are tend to overshoot, and this is the reason why they get this high latency. And the reason for this, like worse video quality, is that buffer occupancy uses very low uh, bitrate. And the takeaway message is that Nibola uses the, the available bandwidth efficiently and balances low motion to photon latency with high uh, quality. The second experiments we conducted over EduRoom, which we, or, we already characterized, it's quite variable in latency and available bandwidth and uh, different value, but same takeaway message from uh, these uh, figures, which is Nibola is the second best in terms of motion to photon latency, but it's almost the best or the second best uh, in terms of video quality. We also, uh, we also streamed these uh, baselines over 
we streamed FBC first person shooting game, which is open arena over these solutions, the five solutions, and heard uh, 15 participants to uh, evaluate the solution, uh, these solutions uh, without revealing our solution. Uh, and we um, and the evaluation uh, or the find our findings that uh, Nibola ensures the highest video quality and highest playability, highest score compared to the other solution, and the lowest mental demand, frustration, and the highest perceived success compared to the other solutions. Uh, and so overall, Nibola is the best uh, trade-off uh, between these solutions. So the, our contribution in this paper was that Nibola is, we developed Nibola that is an end-to-end -end architecture for joint heuristic-based adaptive bitrate and redundancy rate. Method, our, in the methodology uh, that we did in Nibola is that we develop end-to-end -end distortion and uh, motion to photon latency models. We formulate optimization problem, and then we develop heuristic model for bitrate and redundancy adaptation. We introduce an even frame level protection we also develop a functional uh, mobile cloud gaming uh, system, uh, which is game streaming, reporting, and the uh, custom transmission protocol. We did experiments over emulated and in the wild. We evaluated the uh, Nibola uh, systematically and uh, based on user study by uh, streaming this, uh, by using these solutions to stream a first person shooting game, which is Open Arena. Our findings that Nibola balances low latency with a high video quality and ensures the highest uh, user quality of experience. Uh, well, this is the end of my presentation. I will be happy to take your uh, questions. Thank you for the presentation. We have time, maybe one minute, because we also have a keynote after, afterwards that we want to get to, and that we have one more presentation in the session. So, um, any burning questions? Hi, hi, Hassan. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Hi, uh, hi. Very, very uh, cool, cool implementation. And uh, I'm excited to look more into this. Uh, so my question is that uh, when you're playing the game, uh, so essentially you're capturing the screen, right? And then uh, transferring it over the wire. So could you just highlight a little bit on uh, uh, what mechanism do you use to capture the screen? Uh, is it like visualized display or is it, is it, is it, it is a display that you're capturing and then running it over? Oh, yeah. So. Uh... So actually we did the, the simple screen capturing, which is there's like some tools that you can use uh, in Linux or Python. That's called MSS, I think. Uh, yeah, and that's uh, something you can uh, define the dimensions where you want to capture, and then it will capture the screen. But like the most professional one that, that we did not use is actually if you can use the, uh, if you can, like get the bytes of the frame from the GPU instead of like capturing that using that some tools. So that's a kind of future direction that I'm gonna work on. All right, thank you, sounds good. Thank you. <laughs>